And now, Storm Tracker weather with meteorologist Cesar Cornejo. Good evening, Southeast Idaho and Western Wyoming. Taking a look at Storm Tracker satellite and radar, we can see that we have had some storms tracking from south, basically southwest to northeast, and that has led to a significant weather advisory at the moment from the National Weather Service, where we are seeing a thunderstorm that could possibly produce dime-sized hail, 30 mile an hour gusts for winds, and this is last is in effect until 10:15. So definitely keep an eye out. Please stay weather aware and make sure to be in a safe area if you are towards the northeast Bonneville County area. So places such as Irwin, Swan Valley, areas in that basically corridor of Bonneville County. But taking a look, we can see that this is all due to a low pressure system, our swirly weather maker at the moment sitting off the Oregon, California coast that is creating all of this energy and moisture that is bringing not only rain to Nevada, but also California. And taking a look at our temperatures at the moment, we can see that we are still quite on the mild side. 40 degree temperatures in the Snake River Plain. We are starting to cool down over in western Wyoming where we can see 34 in Jackson, 30 in Afton. Taking a look at Chalice, still a bit on the warm side also, 45. Take, let's take a look at our lows for tonight. We can expect to see mild lows in the Snake River Plain, but for the mountainous areas, we'll be around the freezing mark for both the Western Wyoming area and Central Mountains. And that's actually going to play into what we'll see with Future Tracker, where while, of course, we can possibly continue to see rain and heavy rain towards basically the overnight hours, there is that push of moisture that, become, that basically becomes snow towards the Island Park region, towards Western Wyoming, over right towards the Teton Range, and it'll continue into the morning where we'll see more rain so it doesn't let up just yet and snow, and really it'll continue into the afternoon hours. Tomorrow we'll see 50s once again for quite a few areas and even 40s in Western Wyoming. And taking a look at your Southeast Idaho Chevy dealer seven day forecast for Pocatello. While we do have that possibility of hearing a few thunderstorms rolling on into Monday, take a look at the rest of the week. 60 degree temperatures looking like spring. And I will definitely say it looks all right, all right, all right. Idaho Falls, very similar story. We do have the possibility of some lightning and rain. But once again, the second half of the week looking beautiful. 60 degrees on Wednesday, 63 on Thursday, 65 on Friday. Rexburg, very similar story once again. There will be a little bit more cloud cover on Tuesday, but temperatures will be very spring-like. And by the time we get to the Teton area, there is that possibility of seeing some rain and snow on Monday. Tuesday, very similar, warmer temperatures. But then we get a bit of a break on Wednesday and Thursday before seeing Friday having a slight chance of rain. The Central Mountains do have that same possibility of having a thunderstorm and temperatures will be quite nice, but by the time we get to the second half of the week, 60 degree temperatures looking very beautiful once again.